first thing that you do when you wake up in the morning? Think about it for a minute. A couple years ago, I surveyed the congregation. Our high school youth were playing a game show where they needed survey answers. Can you guess what the number one survey answer was when we pulled Trinity Presbyterian Church to see what was the first thing that they did when they woke up in the morning? It was pray. The first thing that people said that they do when they wake up in the morning is pray. And I think that's amazing. Today we're continuing on in our study on the characteristics of a disciple. And today, the characteristic that we're talking about is prayer. Knees for prayer. And how awesome is it that most of us are already starting our day with prayer? Jesus gives us instructions in the Bible. The disciples say, Jesus, how do we pray? And he gives us what we know today as the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. That's what he tells us. He doesn't tell us that we have to pray with our hands folded and our eyes crossed. He doesn't say it's wrong to keep your eyes open. It's wrong to pray at this time. He simply tells us, gives us the words of the Lord's Prayer. So when do we pray? Before we eat, to thank God for the people who prepared your meal, to the people that helped to grow your meal. To when I'm amazed, by his beauty and his power to create such magnificent things. When someone we know is sick or hurt. When I'm in need of patience. When I'm happy. When I'm sad. Oh when I don't have enough time. When I have more than enough time. So when do we pray? All the time. The Bible tells us to ask, seek, and knock. And God will always open the door for you. As we end today in prayer, I want to use this time for you to talk to God. What is it that you need to tell God today? So I'll start us off, and then there'll be a time of silence for you to ask, seek, and knock. Let us pray. All God's children said, Amen. So I have a little something extra for you today. Um, I'm going to share with you some of our favorite song blessings that we do here at church. And there is also a link um, right after this video that has the lyrics printed out for you. So you could print them out um, and try one of these fun songs at your next meal at your house. So these are great ways to offer up blessing to God, uh, using joy and your voices to offer your thanks. So the first one I'm gonna show you is called Chocolate Cake. Um, this is one of the favorites here at Trinity. It goes like this. God is good, God is great. God created chocolate cake. God's righteous dude, God gives us food. rub a dub dub three men in a tub. We thank you, Lord, for this good grub. Amen, 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 amen. Fresh. Then the next one is God is Good, and we're going to sing it to the tune of Jeopardy. So it goes like this. God is good and God is great. Let us thank him for 
our food by his hands we all are fed give us lord our daily bread amen um next one is to the tune of the adams family so you're going to start off with the snap da -na -na -na. 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 We thank you, Lord, for giving the food we need for living. For food and friends and family, we thank you now, O oh Lord. Da -na -na -na. 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 Amen. Um, our next one is We Will Thank You, and it goes to the tune of We Will Rock You. So you have to first start with a beat. So it's or anything on um, the tables will shake when you do that so beware of that so this last one is my absolute favorite one um, it has two parts so it has a part for low voices and a part for high voices um, we've actually started doing this at our family gatherings we have a really big family and so when we get together for dinner I have a poster board that we hold up and we all sing together and it is is wonderful um, so when I teach it to you I'm gonna be doing both parts um, so when I do like this that means low voices this is high voices and then both hands together is everybody sings together. Um, so hopefully this will make sense to you. All right, here we go. The low voices start off. For health and strength, for health and strength and daily food, we praise thy name, we praise thy name, O Lord. For health and strength, for health and strength and daily food, we praise thy name, O Lord. Amen, 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 amen. So go to the little link below this and you'll have all those words um, to print out and to have some fun um, praising God before you eat. I uh, look forward to seeing you guys maybe outdoors on our Vesper um, this Sunday or around church um, or just stay safe in your home. Miss you guys.